Hello and welcome to the foothills of the Accursed Mountains in Kosovo. My name is Thomas and I produce travel content mainly around Europe. Compared to other regions of the continent, this range is definitely rather undervisited by international travellers. Currently I'm in the city of Peja, which is the gateway to this very range and I'm very excited to document a lot of the sights I'm going to be seeing today. So, without further ado, let the adventure begin. As I set off from this mountain city, I take a short three kilometre hike to the Tibetan Bridge, marking the start of my Via Ferrata route. I spend the rest of my time over waterfalls, through forests, along mountain lakes, barely seeing anyone for literally hours on end. I'm now in the Rugova Valley here. It's considered to be one of the longest and deepest in Europe. It measures anything from 650 to 1,000 meters. And as you can see, uh, the river below me here, it hosts a gamut of surprises from caves and of course the Via Ferrata which is what I'm doing today. This outdoor sport is not for the faint-hearted or for those with acrophobia and certainly not for anyone wishing to wear high heels. Essential equipment includes two climbing clips also known as crabs, energy absorbing lanyards, a helmet, harness and a good pair of hiking boots. one of the beautiful mountain lakes in the Rugova Valley. It's about 30 kilometers from where I started out earlier and as you can see it's absolutely gorgeous. The pristineness of the water, the tranquility and of course void of any hikers apart from myself and my guide I came with today. It's approaching the middle of summertime and you can still see patches of snow up on the ridge there. This is my friend Boran and we're heading now to the second lake on our journey through the Rugova Valley. Boran's a very experienced mountaineer. He's done all sorts. In fact, he even cycled up here, didn't you, Boran? Yeah, also went down. That's incredible. And you also do a bit of rock climbing? Yeah. And how long have you done these for? Uh, three years, two years, three, something like that. You're very lucky to be in such a scenic part of the world. Yes. This is the second lake in the Rugova Valley. It's in fact a glacial lake. And of course, earlier in the year, it would have been somewhat larger in surface area. It's extremely cold to swim in. One of the things I particularly like about this part are the number of wildflowers punctuating the mountain slopes quite a lot of loose rock. The ridges are somewhat steep, but anyone with a moderate level of fitness can easily manage these without too much trouble. Now, one of the things I noted after coming here was that Peya experienced a pretty severe flood. One of the worst, in fact, that some people had experienced. It caused a huge mudslide. Water ended up flowing with fridges down the main high streets and it took a long time to clear. So, of course, my thoughts and prayers go out to the people that suffered this. It ended up I believe killing two people. Apart from the mountains, Pei was a city worth visiting. Like with a lot of towns and cities in the south of Kosovo, it has a charming part in the centre with a number of shops and cafes to reconnoitre. 
worth spending a day at least. After spending a bit of time around town, befriending locals, breathing in the mountain air, and getting up close to a number of small waterfalls, I took advantage of a rainy day by checking into the five-star hotel Dukagini. Like with the mountain slopes, I had most of the leisure centre to myself. Staff here were amazing, and my mountain-facing room was a perfect place to unwind and reflect on times old and new. Details about the hotel and operator I used for the Via Ferrata can be found in links at the description at the bottom of this video. That concludes my journey through the Rugova Valley. I definitely consider this to be one of the more memorable experiences I've had through Eastern Europe of late. Lastly, if YouTube don't give you any notifications about new content I produce, please dip into my channel every so often. I am hoping to produce videos more frequently than I have done. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of the summer and you'll see me very soon. Goodbye.